Well, one of the things we wanted to do when we took over the high school is I wanted to make it uh, a little more welcoming and a little more try to make it a little more friendly as far as the cosmetic part of the uh, building. And so uh, we took advantage of the large wall down by the library. Uh, one of our uh, recurring themes over the next several years is going to be devil dog excellence and so we we had a, a large mural with all the ten words that came from uh, John Wooden's pyramid of success that we're trying to work through uh, that we'll go through through the year it's also part of our devil dog excellence program that uh, you guys as students can be able to earn um, tickets from teachers for displaying those characteristics and then weekly we will be able to have a drawing for those uh, for prizes from those people that won uh, We've also added some other additional um, logos above our door, our entrance door. I really like the one that says, We Are Marlton. Uh, that's something I think that gives us some something to rally around. Uh, we are still in the process. We've got two more windows, sets of windows that we're going to add some film to that you can see in. I mean, you can see out, but you can't necessarily see in. Uh, not only does that help with temperature control, but it also helps with safety. And it also, uh, you know, the one out front with the library is that's going to be a huge devil dog head that you'll be able to see from the road um, again the other entrance to the cafeteria will have the same as these two doors as far as behind us where they'll have the stripes on the side and the logo I mean the crest in the middle and then the logo uh, above the door so we just wanted to make it again seem more inviting and more friendly and also one other thing I think it's made a huge difference is all of our walls have been painted on the inside of this building more of a beige and not so much of a the industrial gray that we had before. Well, we've kind of been working on those new features basically since about May of last year. Uh, we still have one situation that hasn't been taken care of. We've uh, purchased seven large greens TVs that will allow us to have our clocks on them, will also allow us to have um, announcements or anything like that if we had to go into a, a lockdown or something like that we could broadcast those across the TVs uh, fire drills all those kind of things and so we're working on still trying to get those things uh, finished up so we can use those uh, but it's taken pretty much all summer to do the painting and the logos and those kind of things I like to be very creative and so uh, I just looked at the space that we have in the school and uh, tried to decide where it would get the most impact and I think our entrance here where we have all of our windows covered with the perf film and also the big area that is above the entrance doors I noticed the other night when you come out of the uh, stadium you can actually see through those windows and see the big we are Marlton logo and I think that's pretty neat uh, the hallway down at the end by the library uh, I think most kids go by there at least once a day so that's an area uh, that I think we could get a lot of use out of and then the poor farm road uh, um, the doors we covered those down by Poor Farm Road and then like I said the ones out front that faces I believe that's Harding uh, will have a huge devil dog head on it so I'm we're just trying to get the biggest bang for our buck and put things where space maybe not has been utilized as much as it could have been.